Hey y'all, welcome to fifth grade, chapter seven, lesson three. We're gonna go ahead and get started. So we're gonna do these exactly the way that we did in 7.1, and I'm gonna flip that to be number one, okay? We're gonna go in and we're gonna reduce as much as we can. So, goodness, it looks like I can't reduce anything by two, but three and nine. So three goes into three once, and three goes into nine three times. So now, two times one is two, and three times one is three, two thirds, done, okay? Again, put the 10 over a one, okay? Go in and reduce, so five goes into five once, five goes into 10 twice, okay? Two times four is eight, and it would be over one, so I'm not gonna put that one, so it's just gonna be eight, okay? All right, now this one's gonna be a little bit trickier because we can't reduce anything. Okay, so now I just have to go three times nine is 27, and it's gonna be over four, because four times one is four. So now I have to do the part where we divide, okay? If you can mentally divide, good for you, okay? But if you can't, then you have to know that the top number always goes inside the box, and the bottom number goes outside the box, okay? Now, I'm going to color code this because I'm gonna show you exactly where each of our answer numbers goes, okay? So four is not gonna go into two, okay? Four will go into 27, let's see, six times, six times four is 24, subtract, and we would get three, okay? So now, okay, our whole number is going to be six, okay? Our numerator, the top number, going to be three. And our denominator is going to stay the same as it was, okay? Just like it was here, it was four, okay? But our divisor is going to be our denominator, okay? So your answer is six and three quarters, okay? So six, three, Four. That's where I got those numbers. Okay. So let's do the same thing over here. We're going to put seven over one. Okay. Well, two doesn't go into seven evenly, and seven definitely doesn't go into two evenly. So we have to multiply straight across. So we would get seven over two. Okay. Now, these are the kind that you could probably do in your head easily because you know that two goes into seven three times, which is six. Seven minus six would be one and then your denominator stays the same, okay? All right, so we're gonna put our six over one, okay? Can't reduce anything, because we need a top and a bottom, okay? So now two times six is 12, five times one is five, five would go into 12, two times for 10, 12 minus 10 would be two, and our denominator stays the same. Okay, not so bad, guys, once you get used to it. Okay, put your nine over one. Now we can go in and we can reduce because three goes into three once and three goes into nine three times. And three times two is six. And if it's over a one, like this would be, then it's just six. Okay, put our nine over a one. Okay, can't reduce anything. Three times nine, 27. 10 times one, 10. 10 would go into 27. Two times for 20, two times 10 is 20. 27 minus 20 would be seven, and our denominator stays the same, okay? I'm gonna let you guys do 10, 11, and 12. We're gonna go down and do 13 and 14. And look at that. Leah makes aprons, and we know it's not Miss Leah because Miss Leah can't sew. So Leah makes aprons to sell at a craft fair. She needs three quarters of yard of material to make each apron. How much material does Leah need to make six aprons okay so three quarters for each apron and we need six of those okay so now i'm going to put that six over a one okay now here is going to be a tricky part they did not tell you about okay four doesn't go into six and six doesn't go into four but two goes into both of them okay so two goes into four two times and two goes into six three times okay 
So now when we multiply, we get 9 over 2. Okay. Well, 2 was in a 9 four times. Because 4 times 2 is 8. 9 minus 8 is 1. And our denominator stays the same. And that's in yards. Okay. Not so bad, guys. All right, the gas tank on Mr. Tanaka's car holds 15 gallons of gas. He used two-thirds of the tank to get of gas last week. How many gallons of gas did he use? So he had 15 gallons, which I'm going to put over a one, and he used two-thirds of it. Two-thirds of it. Of means multiply, remember? Okay, so now it's another one of those where three goes into three once, three goes into 15 five times. And 5 times 2 is 10. 1 times 1 is 1. So 10 gallons. Okay? All right. Make sure you're showing your work, guys, okay? You guys are going to do the lesson check, just like always. And we're going to go ahead and do the spiral review, okay? So... 509, it says, what's the best estimate? Okay, that estimate's the important part here, okay? Because 591, I would round that to 600. And 29, I would round that to 30. Well, 30 goes into 60 twice, and then I just have an extra zero, 20. Done. Okay, so about 20. Okay, and that's for an estimate, so it's about. Okay. All right. Sandy bought three quarters yard of red ribbon and two thirds yard of white ribbon to make some hair bones, hair bows. All together, how many yards of ribbon did she buy? So three quarters plus two thirds. So what we need is a common denominator. Well, between four and three, that's going to be 12. Okay. To get 4 to 12, I had to multiply it by 3, which means I need to multiply the top by 3, which is going to be 9. To get 3 to 12, I had to multiply it by 4, which means I need to multiply the top by 4. 2 times 4 is 8. Okay, so when I add those up, I'm going to get 17 over 12. Okay, well, 12 is going to go into 17 one time. 1 times 12 is 12, and 17 minus 12 would be 5. And I'm going to keep my denominator. 1 and 5 twelfths of a yard. Okay. Eric jogged 3 and a quarter miles on Monday, 5 and 5 eighths miles on Tuesday, and 8 miles on Wednesday. Suppose he continues the pattern for the remainder of the week. How far will Eric jog on Friday? So we need to find the pattern first. Okay. So I'm going to take two of the numbers, and I'm going to subtract them so that I can find the difference. Okay, so I'm going to take 5 and 5 eighths, and I'm going to subtract 3 and 1 quarter so that I can find the difference. Okay, so first I need a common denominator, which is going to be 8. So the first one I'm going to keep exactly the way it is. Okay, the second one I'm going to keep the whole number, but then I had to multiply the 4 by 2, so I have to multiply the top by 2, and I'm going to get 2 eighths. Okay. So now, 5 minus 3 is 2, 5 minus 2 is 3, and I'm going to keep my denominator, okay? So now, I'm going to take that 8 miles, that's Wednesday, so I still need Thursday and Friday, okay? Okay, so I'm going to add this twice to the 8, okay? So... 8 plus 2 and 3 eighths. Now, because we're adding, I don't actually need to have a fraction because I don't need to take away a fraction. So I can add the whole numbers, which is going to be 10 and 3 eighths. Then I'm going to take that 10 and 3 eighths, and I'm going to add to it 2 and 3 eighths because this one is Thursday, and this one will be Friday. Okay. 10 plus 2 is 12, 3 plus 3 is 6, 
and I keep my denominator. Now, 6 over 8 can be reduced, though. So we're going to have 12, and then 2 goes into 6 three times, and 2 goes into 6, or sorry, into 8 four times. So my total, my answer, will be 12 and 3 quarters of a mile. Okay? Now, make sure that you're showing your work. Okay? Now, this one was Thursday. This one is Friday. Okay? We needed to know on Friday how far he would jog. Okay? Pause it. Go back. Do whatever you need to do to make sure you're writing down your work. Okay? All right. So, now, this one says Sharon bought 25 pounds of ground beef and made 100 hamburger patties of equal weight. What is the weight of each hamburger patty? So we're going to do 25 into 100. Well, here's the thing, y'all. I'm going to treat this like quarters. A quarter is worth 25 cents and a dollar is 100 cents. And I know that four quarters makes a dollar. So four Oh, you know what? Let's do it another way. Okay? Let's do it another way. Okay? So, I did it backwards, guys. Sorry about that. Give me a second. Boop. Okay. So, it's actually going to be the 100 patties. And we're going to divide the 25 pounds. Okay? Well, when we're dividing by a number that starts with a 1 and ends in zeros, we're just going to move the decimal. So, Currently, if you had a decimal, it would be right there. But because we are dividing it by one, two zeros, we're going to move it one, two places. So it would be 0.25 pounds. Sorry about that one, guys. Hopefully I read it wrong. Okay, guys. Thanks for hanging out for 7.3. Come on back for 7.4. And I'll see you soon. Okay, have a good day.